This week on Sledhead 24-7, Polaris steps it up again as the 2013 Pro RMK sheds weight and gains performance. We've been riding the Pro since its introduction, and we'll show you what's new for this season. If you use a truck to pull your sleds, pay attention. We pulled our trailer through the Rockies in search of snow and can attest that Bully Dog is the place to give your truck more power and improve fuel mileage. We go to the home of horsepower as Speedworks shows us what's new for the 2013 Articats. And we'll ride along with Pro Articat Mountain Riders as they show us how the Pro Climb chassis performs in the backcountry and hill climb racing. Get ready to ride. Sledhead 24-7 starts now. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, here with my boys, Mac and Fish. Oh my goodness, what have you guys gotten into? Last thing left, I think we gotta just see if it runs. Greetings, everyone, and welcome to yet another edition of Sled Ed 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-hosts, Jeff Fisher and Paul Mack, and we're here at Heinen's in beautiful Osseo, Minnesota. Now, coming up first, we're going to go to a place where we ride, rate, and review all the latest and greatest models from all the manufacturers. I'm, of course, talking about Snowshoot, and these two know all about it. It is amazing, Misha, and we go every year. It's invite only, all of the media. Remember what's there at Snowshoot? Secret location, every snowmobile made by every manufacturer in one place, and we get to ride them and do as we please, Fish. And usually we do. We get to find out what's good, what's bad, and it sometimes gets ugly but we have a good time. And coming up first to take on those mountains is the Polaris Pro RMK. Take a look. At Polaris, evolution and engineering continues for 2013 with the Pro RMK. Looking at their track record, Polaris has been a number one contender in snowcross freestyle, trail, and once again, pushing the limits in the mountain sled category. The launch of the Pro RMK in 2011 shook the mountain riding community as the lightest, most flickable machine, as it won awards and approvals all across the snow belt. When you have an uncomfortable situation, whether it's in the, tr in the trees, on the trail, or whatever, this sled gives you confidence to get through it. The thing would climb, I mean, the players carves nice and it's nimble and it's light and it feels great. So whenever you, you were climbing and you nailed it, that thing was just now. And the mapping on that 800 and the clutching on that 800, what can I say, Polaris? You just keep making improvements. The RMK was easier to handle, it was easier to maneuver and to turn. It had great power as well. Felt like I could wiggle myself out of a lot of situations that I normally would be really stuck in. For 2013, Polaris didn't stand still with the Pro RMK. Polaris replaced the chain case drive system in favor of a lighter, more efficient belt drive. It gives the machine an even lighter feel. One of the key things in this sled is the new uh, quick drive, low inertia drive system. We reduced the inertia of the drive system over 20% and what that means for the rider is quicker response and actually five pounds less effort to turn and change direction in deep snow. The sled is just gonna take that much less energy to ride. So it, it spools up faster, it's quicker, the response is easier, you can feel it on the hill. The sled acts and feels lighter than what it really is. A new design in running boards graced the Pro. We made them uh, a lot stiffer. And we took out all the uh, Areas where the snow and ice can build up, you can see we've been in some pretty good conditions of snow now and they're actually fairly clean. You feel confident every time you move your foot around. There's no slipping, no sliding, you just, you're at home all the time on a vehicle. And what is kind of neat, if you do bend one, mar one up, it's totally replaceable off the side of the machine. The third generation of Pro RMK gets even lighter. We got a new seat, we shortened it up by seven inches in the rear and we took a pound and a half out between the seat and the seat support. We got rid of our aluminum tubes and we put in three carbon fiber tubes. 
and that reduced the weight to buy another pound. The Pro RMK is the lightest mountain sled built today. Starting at 431 pounds in 2011, the new 800 Pro RMK 155 now weighs in at 417 pounds, the lightest in its class. I'm sure all these aftermarket companies are pulling their hair out going, what can we do to these things? Whether you're an amateur or an expert, the 2013 Pro RMK can raise your riding abilities to a new level. Polaris Pro RMK, what a mean machine that is. It's absolutely amazing, Mason. I like the technology advances they've made in there. It's belt drive. There's no more chain case, no more chain. And I don't know how many times I've had it personally happen to me with other riders. You break a chain, you're stuck in the middle of the mountains. Technology is incredible on that thing, Fish. No, it's about as lightweight machine you're going to find. The thing is just, you're able to, it's so agile and flickable. Flick I said flickable. <laughs> But it is, the thing is very lightweight for boondocking, riding, it is second to none. You heard it from the best. Stay right where you are. There's more from Heinen's in a moment. When Sledhead 24 seven returns, Bully Dog pumps up the Duramax as our truck gains big torque and horsepower. Jeremy Hool shows us what's new at Speedworks for 2013 and Professional Articat mountain riders put the 2013 Pro Climb sleds to the test at Jackson Hole. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Amsoil, the first in synthetics. Speedworks, straight up USA horsepower. By GoPro, be a hero. And by Skidoo Snowmobiles. Welcome back to Sled Ed 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, here with my co-host, Jeff Fisher. And we are still here at Heinen's in Osseo. Now, when it comes to power, most riders have it figured out. But what about the truck that pulls the trailer? You know, a lot of people forget about that truck. Need a little extra power. If you see the loads we pull around with our truck, you need some power. Well, we found a company that can take care of that for us, and it's Bully Dog. Bully Dog is the word. All right, check it out. At Sledhead 24-7, we travel across the country every season as we showcase the best snowmobiles, products, and destinations to ride. Looking for more pulling power and better fuel mileage out of our truck, we drive to American Falls, Idaho, the home of Bully Dog Performance. Here we are, Bully Dog Performance. Number one in performance is what their slogan is on their building. Let's go find out if it is. Okay, we made it to Bully Dog. Now we're here, let's go inside and see what kind of goodies they got for the truck. Jeff's introduced to the team at Bully Dog as they prepare the truck for testing in stock form. A Bully Dog watchdog is installed to collect the data from the truck in stock form. So Bass, you just want me to gas it right now? Let's go. Now remember, we got everything on back here. Yeah, we got the trailer, we got the sleds on the sled bed. We're loaded up. We're loaded for bear here. After the stock truck test runs, the data is collected and Bully Dog Performance products are installed. That's the first three runs we've done on the dyno, all stock runs. And then we're going to start installing product. Yep, so now we're going to start boosting that horsepower yeah. up, right? We're going to put these lines way up there. I love that. Okay, okay Jeff, now we're going to install the Bully Dog product. We're going to take the GT diesel and we're going to install it with the pod mount as well so it looks nice and finished. Looks like you guys got this thing all strapped down. Got it harnessed up, I see wires hooked up. It looks like my poor truck's at the hospital or something. What are we gonna do? Yeah, everything's hooked up. We've done our road testing, now we're on the dyno. All, everything ready to go. Some of our engineers are gonna help run the dyno here. And we're gonna find out what it's pushing out right now. We just got done running the extreme. Start looking at a uh, 
exciting 438 hours. At 438, I think I'm gonna be burning some tires off this bad boy now. After the modified dyno run, it was off to the real world test. We got the trail hooked up, we got sleds on the sled bed. We're gonna do a couple of performance tests to see what results we get and compare them to the stock runs we did earlier today. That quarter mile time is, we knocked seconds off of that. Our speed, everything went up. I mean, what I can see performance wise, kudos. The thing is, it definitely made a huge difference. You know, it's like I don't even have the trailer on. Okay, we're all loaded up. The truck's been done. We've done some dyno testing. We've done some field testing. The truck runs great. I already feel the performance change. I'd like to thank the folks here at Bully Dog for taking care of us. It's a class A operation here. If you're looking for performance in your truck, come see Bully Dog. Bully Dog, what an amazing company and what a great find. Yeah, they're a great find. Talking about parts for our trucks, but you know what else? What are we all about? We're about sled parts. And Polly, you know sled parts. Absolutely. Now here's a scenario. How many times have we all been working in the garage? It's late at night, it's on the weekends, and you need a part, there's no dealers open, right? Wrong, not at Heinen's. If you go to their website, heinenmotorsports.com, it says parts, 15% off. You click on that, and it's gonna open up all of the schematics that you need for anything that you need a part on. Check it out, and in seven to 10 days, you're gonna have that part delivered to your house. No more running to the dealer, ordering it, going home, running back, picking it up. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, heinenmotorsports.com. And you can also find their link on our website at sledded24-7.com. Don't go anywhere, sledded 24 7 will be right back. Still ahead, Jeremy Hool shows us what's new this season as Speedworks designs new products for the 2013 Articats. And Articat racers Dave McClure and Rob Kincaid show us why they choose to ride green. Welcome back to Sled Ed 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, still here at Heinen's in Osseo. And right now, we're going to the home of horsepower in Forest Lake. I'm, of course, talking about our friendly shop of Speedworks. Here's a few ways you can really amp up your sled. Hey, guys. Jeremy from Speedworks. It's fall right now and we're getting geared up for winter. Come on inside and check out what we got going on. Once again, Sledhead 24-7 is at Speedworks to see what new products they offer for the 2013 Arctic Cats. Up first, the 800cc two-stroke products. Starting off, uh, we've got our super famous Hypershift clutch kits. The kits come with primary spring, secondary spring, one of our compound radius helixes, and a set of our aggressive profile adjustable machined weights. Um, guys are looking to do a little bit more. Then we have our Y-pipe setup. Uh, Y-pipe adds four to five horsepower, simple bolt-on part. You do need to run the fuel controller with it, but lucky for you, we already have the maps and everything developed. All you gotta do is go on our website and download the map, plug the box in, you're good to go. Guys looking to save a little bit more weight. This here is our standard lightweight muffler has stock-like sound levels. It's actually four to six decibels quieter than stock at four to 6,000 RPM. Then we have our L2 series, our light and loud series, which is even a smaller, lighter version of this muffler. The standard version is about 12 pounds lighter than stock, and the L2 series is about 15 pounds lighter than stock. We'll move on to our single pipe. Our single pipe is five pounds lighter than stock. They come ceramic coated, and the pipe alone will add another four to five horsepower on top of the Y pipe. So if you add this to the Y pipe, you're talking a nine to 10 horsepower gain. Last but not least, we have our performance reeds. We have both the V-Force reeds and the Boysen reeds. They both offer great performance, improved throttle response, and that little bit of extra horsepower um, that your buddies aren't gonna know about. Next, Jeremy shows us what's new for the F1100 Turbo. Most popular mod and the easiest mod that we offer for these things is our multi-map ECU mapping. What they come down to is just basically four different stages of performance for you, the customer. On top of that, since we're adding so much horsepower, the clutching cannot be overlooked. If you don't clutch it, it's not gonna be set up right. It comes with one of our compound radius helixes, a set of our aggressive profile adjustable machined weights, and one of our H5 alloy primary springs. We've got our lightweight mufflers. They actually have 
three versions and then we have them made in different materials. You could just bolt this muffler on and not do anything else to the sled as far as fuel mapping, fuel controller, anything like that. You can just bolt it on and lose 10 pounds and gain 10 horsepower. This is our standard black version. We offer it in ceramic coated and in stainless steel as well. On top of that, we have our L2 series. It's our lighter and loud series. And then guys that are doing more race type applications, we just have our straight downpipe. With our muffler packages, we suggest our, our, our high temp insulated heat tape. Another thing that we do with the heat tape to help reduce the temperature is we do a lot of venting on this four stroke sled. Uh, another product that we offer in this kit are our aluminum charge tubes. They dissipate heat better and they're gonna hold up and last a lot longer. Plus they look a lot cooler too. Uh, last but not least, for guys running on our 240 horsepower setting or higher, um, we, have our, we have our stainless steel downpipe. Adds another five horsepower on top of everything that we've talked about here today. But again, we don't use that until we go above that 240 horsepower setting. Wrapping things up, we went over the hot new products for the CAT 800, the CAT 1100 Turbo. If you guys have any questions on that, check out our website at speedworks.com or give us a call. We'll be glad to answer any questions you got. We'll see you on the snow. Good old Speedworks, and they are such good guys. But you know, they don't only work on snowmobiles, do they, Paul? No, they don't, Misha. They've got UTVs, ATVs, dirt track cars. You remember, when you want something crazy, stupid, fast, you think of one thing, you think of Speedworks. It's true, you do. All-encompassing, we love that. Stay right where you are. Sledded 24-7 will be right back. When we return, professional Articad mountain riders make it look easy as they race to the top on the Pro Climb Arctic Cats. Stay tuned. Sledhead 24-7 is brought to you by Polaris. Terrain domination. Arctic Cat, share our passion. By FXR, world-class outerwear. And by Spy Optics. Welcome back to Sled at 24-7. I'm your host, Misha Johnson, along with my co-host, Jeff Fisher. And right now, we're heading to the mountains, and we're going to do it with speed and style. Yeah, we had a chance to ride with some Articat's top riders from out west, free riding and racing, and it was awesome. This is one you do not want to miss. Take a look. There's no question that the pros make it look easy. When we follow the best Arctic Cat hill climb racers into the backcountry, you get a private show. Todd Tupper, Rob Kincaid, and David McClure show us why they ride green. Hi, I'm Todd Tupper with Arctic Cat. I want to show you some of the new features that we've come out with for our 2013 sled. We'll start with the M8 Snow Pro right now. Uh, this sled has gotten a new 2.6 track powder claw which works awesome in the powder. We also have taken the 40 inch ski stance and taken it down to a 38, which makes the sled a lot more nimble, easier to side hill, maneuver. And then uh, also we've dropped the skid down three quarters of an inch. Um, accomplished a couple of things with that. One with some clearance with the big track and um, also a little more maneuverability. Okay, now we have the HCR turbo. And for 13, it's also gotten the 38 inch ski stance, the 2.6 track. And also we've changed the steering in it and done a vertical steer. So better maneuverability, side hilling, controlled, great feature. Moving on to our XF 1100 Turbo High Country. This sled comes with a 42 inch ski stance. The 42 inch ski stance is gonna help the guy trail riding, likes to burn the trails up and then also when he comes out west, he's got a good two and a quarter inch powder claw track that's gonna help him in the deep snow. The changes sound great on paper. Let's hear how the Pro Climb chassis works in the hands of a pro. David McClure, I'm a pro hill climb racer. Do a little bit of backcountry riding too. By us racing the Arctic Cat snowmobiles, the HCR snowmobile came to be. Uh, it's a hill climb sled that works good for consumers as well. The suspension is valved really good for rough trails, for big jumps. I've rode all the other brands and 
I'd rather be on Arctic Cat than any other sled. My name's Rob Kincaid. I've rode Arctic Cats for 15 years. Um, our technology just seems to be getting better and better, and Arctic Cats built this new Pro Climb chassis. It seems to work better the harder you ride it. No, I would never ride any other brand. My blood's green. I'll always I'll be on an Arctic Cat. Built for the pros, the Arctic Cat Pro Climb chassis has the performance and durability for you. Those are the real daredevils. You have daredevils? I'd have to be a daredevil to wear those pink mittens. I got these out of your bag, thank you very much. <laughs> you know, it's about Christmas time, there's no better place to shop than Heinz. I've got my GoPro Hero FXR jackets. I think my Christmas list is complete. This is true, and that's all the time we have for this edition of Sledded 24-7, primarily because we are going to finish shopping. Aren't we, Fisher? You bet. All right, well, thanks so much for Heinen's here in Osseo, as well as our sponsor, FXR. Make sure to visit us online at sledded24-7.com and follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Misha Johnson, along with my co-hosts, Paul Mack and Jeff Fisher. Thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Next week on Sled Ed 24-7, we go to the world-famous Jackson Hole Hill Climb. Want to get more power from your skidoo? We go to Straight Line Performance as the Heartbreaker gets the E-Tech dialed in. Then, we go trail riding with a die-hard Arctic Cat rider as she gets the chance to compare the new Arctic Cat F800 to her Fire Cat F7. And, we check in with the home of horsepower as Speedworks shows us how to get more performance out of the 800cc Arctic Cat. Those stories and more next week on Sledhead 24 7.